But first, state, Senate, and House redistricting committees considering adjustments to legislative maps after receiving the latest census data. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Janie Bullman. Leaders hosting a joint hearing today in Peoria looking for input from the community. Liam Donahue shows us what issues local leaders have with the current maps and why they're hoping to change them. Saturday morning, both Senate and House redistricting committees holding a joint hearing at the Peoria Riverfront Museum. The group looking to change legislative boundaries now that 2020 census data is released. The current map splits Peoria between different districts. Ryan Spain, Republican state representative for District 73, and half of the city of Peoria feels the current maps will negatively affect people in Peoria. It's a very curious uh, decision, and I think one that will have very damaging and long-lasting impacts for representation here in the greater Peoria area. Senate Redistricting Committee Vice Chair LG Sims says they've invited leaders from across the aisle to participate in the discussion and drawing of maps, but says many of those leaders aren't being responsive. Peoria City Councilman Tim Riggenbach, who emphasized he was attending as a citizen and not representing the city council, says the maps will be in place for a decade and hopes there's a focus on the districts and the people who live there rather than who could represent them. I think it's really important that when we draw these maps and when we talk about the implications that we realize it's not we're not talking about Ryan Spain, Dave Kaler, Jahan Gordon. We're talking about the map that's going to be in place for the next 10 years. Members of the community were able to give input, which leaders say is important for both redistricting committees to hear. On Tuesday, Illinois House and Senate leaders meet for a one-day special session to reevaluate the maps. Reporting in Peoria, Liam Donahue, WYZZ News.